Everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cab back. Yes, back with another, and I mean another fire modded video for you guys here today. We have basically a whole brand new Xenoverse 2 roster. Like the whole roster for the most part has been revamped and redone. So many changes have come with this. First and foremost, the first change you guys see is like just the main screen is completely different. I honestly like the blue effect as opposed to what we have on the regular Xenoverse 2 more in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that first and foremost down below. But this mod right here is just so fire. Let me tell you right now, my mod senses were on another level this morning. Check it out. My senses tingling. What the hell? What? What was that for? I'm your damn mod senses and I'm tingling. Let's go. As you saw, again, my mod senses were on another. I can't believe it. Do, 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 like, really? Anyways, get, get, getting into this video right here, guys, what we're going to be taking a look at is some of the redone textures. As you see, first and foremost, Goku looks completely different. Super Saiyan Blue Goku he looks a lot better in this image, in this um version right here. Base Goku, the textures, as you can see and stuff, has been redone on him to make him look more legit. Same goes with Super Saiyan God Goku and so many other characters. Like, I believe this, um, I don't know if this preset in the actual one has the torn clothes like this or not, but he made it with torn clothes right here if it doesn't. But there was just a bunch of things honestly added in to this, um, to this, what's it called? The, the revamp project of Xenoverse 2 that they have right here. Vegeta is looking absolutely dope. Like, this is his Wii symbol suit now. The newer updated one as opposed to that old gray one that he used in Resurrection F. And then this is his other outfit, which kind of looks a little bit similar. But you can still see the changes that were made within this whole revamp project. Golden Frieza is a prime example. Like, look at my man's Frieza looking absolutely sexy. And I, I'm going to need a pause on that. Just saying. Pause! Oh! But the man Frieza is looking absolutely dope as well. Like so many characters are just looking more official to the actual anime, in my opinion. The man Super Saiyan Blue Vegito looks a lot more um, official, in my opinion, as well. Like look at him right here. This man is looking absolutely dope. You can see the changes in the facial features, things like that, the textures, coloring, the shading, all types of stuff like that was done throughout this whole roster and that's not the only things that were done or was added in new skill animations were added in there's still more new skill animations to come we're still at i believe 1.7 of the update they want to get it to 2.0 i believe 2.0 is going to be the final project so there's still a couple more updates to this revamp project to come where there's just going to be adding a bunch of other things in as well so like i said or uh, new skill changes and stuff like that. We're also done. I mean, we're going to showcase some of those right here. We're going to showcase the Super Saiyan Blue Aura and Super Saiyan God Aura that were changed and basically revamped for anybody that falls into that class on Xenoverse 2 if you download this mod, which, by the way, will be down below in the description again. Huge shout out to all the people who put in the work on this revamp project because it was multiple different modders that put in work together to make this possible for us. So again, huge, huge shout out to them. But as you guys can see, look at these auras, man. Every single Super Saiyan Blue character will have that aura. I have a boner. Okay. I have a boner. 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 All right. And every single Super Saiyan God character, even though Goku is the only one as of right now, once DLC 9 drops and uh, Vegeta is done revamped as well, he'll have that aura also. So those are not the only things, like I said, that were changed. Not only was aura added for like Rose, other characters like that, but also there were a couple skill animation changes. Only two as of right now, I believe, was Super Kamehameha and Final Kamehameha. But look at that, that, that animation right there. I'm loving how Goku does the whole... You know, the whole brings it forward, 
brings it back and does a super Kamehameha, which you would expect as opposed to really what we get in Xenoverse 2. It's just like, you know, Kamehameha. Like, it's really quick. There's no real super charge up or anything like that to it. Like, I just love that animation. It's little things like that that can take a game to another level, in my opinion. And honestly, if we had this in regular Xenoverse, I think it would take it to another level. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. But Super Kamehameha was not the only skill that was actually changed. Final Kamehameha, like, look at that animation, my guys. Do y'all see this? Oh, oh, that is so epic right there. And they changed the coloring and made it actually precise to the actual anime. Like, yes, it's blue, but then you could see the hints of the yellow in there mixed as well, making it look just like the anime and how it should have been in Xenoverse 2. I still do not know why till this day. They have it as a yellow beam when it's always been, it just makes absolutely no sense to me, just saying. But again, that right there is absolutely fire. And like I said, there's much more to come besides what's already been added. And then also, supposedly, there's a lot of new mentor outfits available for each of the mentor characters with, um, if you go to the mentor menu and things like that. And we're going to check that out in a quick second. And I read something on, because there's a whole notes, like there's a whole list of notes of what was actually changed, like the hairstyle styles the facial features things like that again if you want to check it out the modded link will be down below but in that it said something about all the new mentors have new costumes and i believe it said something like they have up to five new costumes for each and every single mentor which is absolutely lit and i would love to see come to the regular game as well let me know what you guys would think about something like that like if they actually released all the costumes that the mentors do have available in xenoverse 2 for them so you can change them up besides just like a couple presents here and there that you get for characters like the whole journey to the west costume for goku and things like that so again let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comments but let's jump over to the mentor screen and see what these new costumes are looking like and things like that because that is also something that was revamped in this xenoverse 2 project all right, y'all, for some reason, maybe I misread on the actual notes of this mod or something like that, but I could not actually find all those different custom mentor outfits and things of that nature. Um, maybe I, I didn't install something or something along those lines. I don't know for sure. Maybe I just misread. But what we're about to do now is actually take a matchup with... Um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito up against Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black just to see an epic matchup with how with the textures redone, the aura redone, and how amazing it would look if we actually had this in Xenoverse 2. And again, huge shout out to the people who made this because this takes so much work to actually revamp pretty much each and every single character, put in different little hair model changes, um, facial features, this auras, all stuff like that takes a ton of work, guys. So huge shout out to them again for doing this right here for the whole community on oh, at least the pc community i should say because no one else can really access it besides the pc community sadly um but let me know what you guys think about this down below like look how clean this looks imagine if this was the real xenoverse 2 right here this was our real oh, what none okay that, that there's just always issues like that on pc come here my boy but what would you guys think again because to me, if Xenoverse actually looked, if if this was our real Xenoverse that we got to play on a daily basis on ranked on PS4, Xbox, things like that, that would just be insane. And I, I, I think people would easily come back if they did something like this for the regular game in general. Like, look at those auras. Look how clean the match looks. The textures, all stuff. I, like I said, absolutely amazing. This mod almost makes me want to want to shed a tear of joy because I, it, it's just so amazing. Like, it's just so amazing, to be honest. And and then, really, it gets even more amazing when you think about the work that really went into this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not one character with new aura. It's not just one character with new uh, a new animation. It's going to be even more than that in the future. It's not just one new character with new check textures or anything like that. New facial features, new hair model changes. A lot of characters had a lot of stuff done. I believe Goku is, like, a prime example, though of characters looking a lot better and a lot different in the revamp as opposed to the actual regular version of xenoverse 2 but that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think about this revamp again down below in the comments what do you guys think about how these characters are looking with these different shadings the different color um textures that they put in the little different changes in some characters hair models that were added stuff like that let me know all that down below in the comments but till next time man as always thank you guys so much for watching really really appreciate all the support that you guys give me things like that really trying to get back
back on the grind if you guys have noticed trying to come with like some double uploads some days and just get back into that daily upload flow i know i was in a bit of a funk where i was missing a whole bunch of days of uploads like i would have some times where i didn't upload for like three days in a row and that that was never like me so again trying to get back into this grind and i appreciate all the support that you guys give it means so much to me from the bottom of my heart again thank you but till next time hope you guys have a good day as always peace